This is Fantasy Baseball Today from CBSSports.com. This is an exclusive presentation of Fantasy Baseball Today for CBS Local Sports. I'm Adam Azer with Scott White and Al Melchior, and we are live every Monday through Friday on FantasyNews.CBSSports.com, noon Eastern time. Check out the show, but here is the shortened version for you as we help you set your lineup for Week 10 with hitters and pitchers to start and sit. Al, you are starting R.A. Dickey coming off a rough outing on Thursday night. He's got Detroit on the road and St. Louis at home. Yes, yeah, so no matter what you say, you're trying to talk me out of it, right? right I just this. want you to, I just but, don't, I, I'm looking in the future, it doesn't look good for Al Melchior in this one. I think it does, because right. Dickey has been much, much better after a difficult uh, beginning to the season. Uh, command and control have been a lot better for him, and he's been just, when he does pitch with control, he's been really, really hard to hit. The knuckler has been really uh, tough, so uh, I think he's back on track like he was uh, the end of last season. Uh, a lot of strikeout potential here with the two-start week. Chris Davis has been one of the hottest hitters in baseball. It's time to get him in your lineup. It's been a big turnaround for him. He has more than half of his home runs to date in his last nine games. And even more encouraging to me, he has more than half his walks to date in his last nine games. So it seems like there may be a legitimate change going on here. Love the matchups this week. Four games against the Twins' bottom feeder rotation. Also gets Charlie Morton, Edinson Volquez. Should be able to keep doing damage. Oh, he might even draw some walks this week. Scott. Yeah, that'd be good. A few more of those. Now, Chris Archer spells his name the conventional way, Al, and he also might be turning things around. And you're going to start him at Miami, home against Seattle. Yeah, no, we're for all sorts of Chris's here, <laughs> however they spell their names. And uh, Archer, the, the problem with him for much of the season has been control. Uh, it's sort of a theme here because that was the case of Dickey, too. But like Dickey, Archer's kind of got his act back together. Uh, and. Uh, not the, the best or the worst matchups for him, but I just think that uh, he's found his form again, and you, when that's the case, you can't pass him up with a two-start week. Entering Friday, J.J. Hardy still hasn't homered. We expect those out of him, but he is hitting well, Scott, and enough to be in the lineup next week. Yeah, he's hitting 409 in his last 11 games and uh, gets some matchups against Joe Saunders, Nick Martinez, Colby Lewis, pitchers he could hit home runs off of. Now, he said he doesn't have any yet, but he's always been streaky as far as that goes. Just to give you an example, last year hit 25 home runs total, uh, but he had a 29-game stretch where he hit 10 of them and a 25-game stretch where he hit 7 of them. Mm. So the rest of the season he was only hitting 8. Wow. I think just the fact that he's starting to hit again, period, you don't want to risk benching him now and missing out on what could be a, a big-time power surge. How about the sits for Fantasy Week 10? Hiroki Kuroda is a two-star pitcher with Oakland at home and Kansas City on the road. Sit him down, Al. I think so, and that's a bit of a departure for me because I really like Kuroda as a two-star guy, specifically as a two-star guy, because in the one-star week, he's not normally going to help you enough with strikeouts, and those strikeouts could be there, but that athletics matchup really does worry me for Kuroda, given that he has been giving up uh, more home runs than we're accustomed to so far this season. So because of that one matchup, uh, I think you can find better options out there than Kuroda. D. Gordon, been kind of cold, and as you've been pointing out, struggling against lefties, so might not be a good week for him. Yeah, it might not be. He's hit under 200 against left-handers this season. And actually, at the beginning of the season, the Dodgers were sitting him against them. So that this is something that they, they weren't expecting him to do well against lefties. And he's been cold recently, has still managed to put up a decent number of points because those few times he gets on, he steals bases like crazy. So when I say sit him, probably not in roto leagues where you don't want to lose a bunch of steals. Probably not as a shortstop where there's just not many alternatives. But as a second baseman in a head-to-head -head points league where every team starts just one, I don't think he's going to be one of the top 12 this week with four lefties on the schedule for the Dodgers. The matchups for Giovanni Gallardo are not bad. Minnesota and then at Pittsburgh. Why are we sitting him this week? Uh, because I just don't like Giovanni Gallardo as a fantasy right, option. Right. Plain and simple. Even in a two-start week, I think the strikeout production could be underwhelming. Always uh, a potential liability for whip and for walks. Uh, the matchups are the only thing that would, I think, even make you even consider them this week. And as was the case with the Corota, I just think that there are more viable options out there among your two-start pool, even on waivers. And one more sit for you, a hitter, Adam Eaton. Adam Eaton, since coming off back from the DL hamstring injury, 250 in 11 games. No walks during that stretch and only one extra base hit. So the two things he's supposed to be good at. He hasn't been doing that at all. The White Sox have, in my mind, the worst matchups of any team this week going against Kershaw, Heron, Beckett, Weaver, and C.J. Wilson in a six-game week. Uh, so I, I don't 
I don't expect Eaton to turn things around. If you want more advice on who to start and sit in Week 10, check out the columns, fantasynews.cbssports.com. Al's got the pitchers, Scott's got the hitters for you. And, of course, watch the show, listen to our podcasts. And thanks a lot for watching this exclusive presentation of Fantasy Baseball Today for CBS Local Sports. For Al Melchior and Scott White, I'm Adam Azer. Good luck in Week 10.